He was an artist. He lived alone here before they had the fire. People said there was something wrong with him. Like, because of the way he drew stuff. When I was little, I was a big problem to my mum. So I got sent up here to stay with Auntie Kat. And I liked it here. Most of the time I looked after him, and he would draw pictures of me. Not just me, but of, like, flowers and hills and all this stuff. He was a really good artist. had a flash car and a flash boyfriend. Sometimes she'd drive up from the city to see us, but not that often. How's my little sister? Oh. You look amazing. Thank you. So, where's my daughter? Well, I thought you'd be happy for me. He's a senior detective. Oh. Look. I want her back. You gave her away, Brooke. You dumped her. Remember, she was three. You know why? Look, you can't just take her away. This is her home. Look, Kat, she's growing up. She doesn't go to school, and I don't want a feral kid around her. She's not feral. She's got no friends. You live out here in the back of nowhere. I want her back. She's my child. Love, you can't keep her here forever. Where is she? She's probably down with Don. So who's Don? He rents the cottage. He got into trouble down the South Island a few years ago. Come up here to live now. Katrina! Look, I need the income. Don! Jesus. That's him. It looks all right to me. Well, what's wrong with him? Well, he used to be an artist. And he had some accident. He got brain damaged. Writes all over everything. Doesn't make much sense. Katrina's up here all the time. They might be up the back. down. Katrina, get down. You. 
keep away from my daughter. Mum wanted to take me back to Wellington, but Auntie Kes said no. I stayed here, but she started ringing every night. We could hear them on the phone, banging away at each other. Sometimes Auntie Kes would come away crying. I used to lie on my bed and pretend I couldn't hear. You've spoiled it, though. We all have to start right all over their pictures. They just sign their names. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be an artist. Mum's taking me back to Wellington. Or I'll be a hairdresser and have babies. I'll take them back here so you and Auntie Kath can see them. Mm -hmm. Auntie Kath can't have babies. Mum's the real mother. That's why I have to go and live with her. Come on. Five more minutes. I hate this shirt. <laughs> you can't talk like that in Wellington. Stop going to Wellington. You can't keep her here forever. Look at her. She's never going to fit in. I fit in. I get on with people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. You stay away from that freak. You shouldn't be hanging around with him. It's not natural. At the end of summer, when Mum came back, she had information. The police told her his real name wasn't Don. He changed it. He'd been in prison because he killed some little girls. When they let him out, he got sent up here by the welfare. And no one was supposed to know. Left some information at the store? No. Yes. The whole district will see this. They have a right to know. You don't know what he could do. People like that. You and your useless bloody boyfriend. Oh. Not looking after her. She's coming home. She can stay inside for the rest of the day. Where have you been? Out. Did you go down to the beach? No. I told you not to go down there. I haven't been there. It's not safe. Do you understand? He said when you drown it's dark. Kind of black that isn't a colour. Heavy. And she can't breathe. He had two children and they died in the water. And his wife in a car accident. He was drunk. He showed me photos of them, of his family. It was a secret. Get out.
I was a good swimmer. And to cast it, I was just like a little tadpole. But she wouldn't let me go down there on my own. She said it might look all right, but there are undercurrents there and it wasn't safe. He was afraid of the water, afraid of the dark, and the currents that pull you down. Mum was angry with him. She said he could have drowned me, but I was all right. When we got up to the house, she packed my bags and told me we were leaving. I had to stay inside. That night I remember the men came round for a party. Well, that was a while ago. Big pig, though, mate. What was her name, Big mate? pig. Thank you. My little girl. Fucking pervert. I'll leave you out of the sack, mate. Two rows of fucking bastards. Shut up, bro. And what the fuck have you done, you used piece of shit? Fuck you! You won't even stand up to him! Come on! Brian! Brian! In the sunshine, we'll understand it all by and by. There was nobody at his funeral except Mum and Catherine. Some people from the welfare. I picked some flowers for him, but they forgot to take them. Mum said I had to stay here. I waited for them, but they'll go a really long time. People said he got drowned in his bath, and the men helped to put the fire out. You know, things can happen like that. If you're alone and you don't have any friends to look after you, you've got to be really careful. You've got to fit in. That's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. 